So I want to look at the actual interest that you are charging on this loan. If it took him a year to pay you back, the maximum rate in California that you can charge is 10%. The maximum rate that you should have been allowed to charge him was $200 for that year. Instead, your rate of interest would have him paying back $5,200 per year on a $2,000 loan. Does that seem egregious to you? In some places, that, people go to jail for that. Uh, that was an agreement we both came to. I'm asking Let's, oh, you, yeah. forget the agreement. Does that well, seem I'm, outrageous? I'm explaining why I think it, it it's was not, not outrageous. outrageous. You think no. it's not? Okay. No. First of all, we come from different countries, so the way we handle money is not illegal. So I'm sorry, I've been here for two years, so. What country is that? Yeah, I want Argentina. <laughs> Argentina. Argentina. I'm not from yeah. Argentina. You're not from Argentina. Where are you from, sir? I'm from Chile. Okay. But I mean, I live in America, I'm an American citizen, I'm, I'm and I go by the <laughs> laws in America. I don't live in yeah, Chile. I mean, and this no, is I an didn't... American court. How would you feel? Your business was going sour, and the defendant uh, had given you the original money to seed the business, and then he said, okay, it's going sour, but in order to encourage you to give me back that money quicker, I'm gonna double what you owe me. How would you feel? I would have paid back. How would you feel? Feel uh, I like would have an felt like feel. Okay, I would have heart. felt like I have the to pay him back. That, that Mr. <laughs> well, uh, referred to you as. How would you feel about that? In a hurry to Wouldn't pay him back. Would you feel that that was an injustice? No. It's a cold melon heart. I got to tell you. Yeah. Ah. A cold melon heart. I think yeah. we're good. All right. Yeah. The parties are excused while we deliberate on this matter. Thank you both Thank very much. Thank you. Hard. This courtroom is now in recess. Well, the plaintiff was a tough, single-minded businesswoman, and that really illustrates what the problem is with these usury laws, because yes. usually businessmen like the defendant, they don't want to go to the banks because they can't get credit in any event. And in his kind of business, it appears that he has a cash turnover mm -hmm. situation. And so they'll go to friends and say, give me money, and I don't care about the interest. I'll pay you back in three months because I'm going to make the money back. So it works out. But that's why... The usury laws are there to protect the public in general. Yes. Yeah. And that's why loan sharks thrive where it's a cash business and people want the opportunity to get this quick yes. money. So it's a terrible, terrible situation. But he agreed to pay her back at the rate of $100 a month. And his defense is essentially that this is premature. Why are you suing me? I've agreed to pay. I've already paid you back six hundred dollars. So now the question for us is: Do we accelerate the loan and say, okay, you know, you're coming here? Well, we won't consider it premature. You're asking for, at the minimum, two thousand two hundred dollars. Yeah. Well, I essentially think that we have to go back to the original agreement because I think the, well, the revised agreement, to the tune of several hundred percent a year, I think we have to kind of throw out that agreement and take them back. And he paid 600 toward the 2200 Correct. And, and actually, as it is, the $200 on the $2,000 loan is also usury yeah. because it's more than 10% annually. Well, he had an interesting explanation in defense of her, actually, on the $8,000 loan. He said it was an investment. Yeah. Rather than, yeah. yeah. He kind of let her off and, the hook on that one. Essentially, this had some elements of an investment also. I, w I would give her the 2200 less 600 and that seems fair. I mean, listen, we yeah. see some pretty audacious litigants coming in here who say, I owe nothing to the plaintiff when they really do. This is a guy who clearly yeah. wasn't trying to get over yeah. on her. He would reach out to her and say, hey, can you give me enough yes. time? And it was really clear when he wrote the $2,200 check in advance and said, listen, here you go. This is what you could cash on the first. I, I, he's honest. He's trying. And we should reward him for that. I agree. Yeah. Great. We have a verdict.